You see how I was silent as I walked past all them? Cause I dare ain't gonna say nothing with three guys holding bolos. <laughs> Just walk on by. Uh, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Did a live stream with you guys today. So you know when this video comes out that this was the same day that the live stream was shot. I appreciate you all. I know I got a little personal with some of my life there. But it all leads up and it's all part of the, the big ball of wax. And uh, anyway, I want to show you what's going on here. And it's looking beautiful. Let's step back so you'll be able to get a good picture of it. Look at that, man. Look at that. So I asked Joel if he'd take these like slimmer pieces. These aren't as wide as some of them on the side and use them here on this front wall because if you uh, use more pieces like slimmer pieces on a small wall it'll give the illusion of the wall being bigger than it really is and if you use just several big pieces on there real wide fewer pieces well then the wall is going to look smaller so uh, so a lot of those pieces are just a little narrower than than what these are right here some of that's a little bit greener a little newer it'll age out on here after you know a few days a couple weeks we'll let it all rest and then we'll come back and coat it later on afterwards we're gonna come around and coat everything with um, a lot of uh, urethane finish on it like an epoxy nice hardened uh, what I use is that same stuff like they use on hardwood floors and that way it can uh, have a lot of durability to it You're putting a uh, paint coat on it now. You put primer yesterday, right, bro? Yeah. Yeah. This is uh, the second coat. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen you working on it for a while out here already. So it's getting its uh, paint now. And it's looking good in here. It's moving right along. So uh, we'll pick up on this project when we finish up over there on that project. So... Uh, it's gonna be pretty fun they can move over here to this and we'll finish finish it up and uh, turn it into something useful and I think that's gonna be pretty cool in fact I may go on down and pick up some materials because right here on the back right here I'm this ladder is just no ladder leaning here temporary these steps I know people are like why don't they have handrails no it's just for us walk up and down here so, goodbye, OSHA. Anyway, that pond's going to come on out right down here. It's dug back. I know you probably can't get a lot of depth with that, but it's dug back right down there. And I'm going to make a um, deck back here on the back that's going to look like you're on a dock or a pier. And this, this won't be here. 
and you'll go up on that deck or pier and it's like you're going to step over into the boat just like if it was docked at a wharf or like say at a pier and so it'll have the appearance of being on the water and docked up at the water and this will be pond all underneath it I probably won't have a dramatic drop like they dug it there it'll probably have a slope right now it's got about a 14 16 inch little drop going off right there uh, it's probably had that slanted right there a smooth slope the water being a little bit deeper over to this side than underneath it right there and um, now this pond the sides are going to kind of come on up a ways you know probably over knee height for me here um, it's not going to be like just a liner down there or something and it's just going to be water up to ground level there it's not going to be like that the water is going to come above ground level um, so all of that will be coming off here pretty soon I'll probably move the guys all over here um, uh, sloping that getting everything shaped just right Here we are again with July. <laughs> you change your face. <laughs> he was thought it's a picture. Yeah. Like I said, July loves to eat and they love milk tea. Spoiled girl. <laughs> So it's just here close, it's very close to our municipal here in Tigbawan. Very close. Joel, maybe we're gonna have to put up, when we put that last one on, when we put that last one on, maybe we're going to have to put a piece of bamboo across the top and the bottom right there. Almost like this. Yeah, something small. One. Yeah. It could be kind of flat or something at the very bottom right here yes. and at the top. Yeah. Only black boss, black like this. Yeah, more flat. Oh, okay. Yeah, just more of a flat piece right across it. Welcome to the casa. Uh, <laughs> you like it? That's um, where the CR is going to be, right there. Yeah. CR, yeah. The bed, just open space, and there'll be a little countertop and a sink over in the corner over there. That sink that's laying there. Yeah. Yeah. 
and then I'm going to move you here. <laughs> Kick you out. <laughs> ah, baby girls. Where did Mama go? Uh, her and Gila, they're up there making spaghetti, so you're just in time to eat spaghetti. You're so lucky. When you pass this threshold right here, you instantly feel a huge difference in the temperature, and there is actually a coolness inside in here. So all you need is just a fan like this, man, with this nice cool air in here. Man, it feels so good. It really does. Uh, this would definitely be a good just little old fan room. Yeah, definitely would. Save a lot on electricity as well and I could adjust the price accordingly if somebody want to come here and just stay in a fan room. We'll see. We'll see if, if that's what my end goal is going to be is to not have an air con. I, I mean, I, of course, I know a lot of people like to have an air con, but if it's not too hot in here and uh, they can be comfortable, man, it'd still be nice to to have it without an air con. In fact, this window, this window here is not open. You can open that a little bit more flow and the screen needs to be put on the front door. He's here finished working at it there right now. I can go ahead and put this screen on. And you get that flow right there. But the shading and the coolness of that nipa that's the key thing. It really is. Well, it's the end of another day. I haven't had a whole lot to show you guys because at this point we're just putting this bamboo siding on there. There's only so much to show. <laughs> but uh, it's coming right along. It's evening time right now. The sun's setting. And see how much they got done. So they got done across the back right here. Looks like he just needs to trim the bottoms off. Let me back up here where I can get a better shot for you. Like I say, it's evening time and it's starting to get dark. Maybe I can make a little flash come on. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Throw a little light on the situation. So, some of this bamboo is still green. And I want it to cure more while it's up there before I put a finish coat over it. So, we'll let it rest on there for a week or two or so and get that green color out of it before we move on doing anything more as far as finishing that. And let's look at the side here. Here at the side, we got all that done and I'm working on a deal under the window right here but that's not finished yet. Uh, there's gonna be some more pieces of that and there's some more design to that but it's not bad looking any which way. Just want to kind of break it up there a little bit somewhere and then of course we got the front wall now there's good light here because front porch lights on but man that just looks so good so you're gonna burnish that right yeah yeah and put a real nice sealer over it but there it is and we'll be doing all that little front roof up there um will be one of our next steps and i've already got a plan of action for that also Beautiful sunset again. I see some people down the beach got a little fire going. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do the bonfire here too. Well, everybody, we'll soon be over to uh, something that's a little bit more than just putting some siding on. So hang in there with us. And I hope you're enjoying this project. And if you are, let me know in the comments what you think about it. I'm gonna you so it's our night snack. So me and Jayla, we went here to the town. We was taught that our, I mean, my nephew have a basketball here. So I I don't know, you know, we're just on a secondhand uh, news. So, but we bought this uh, isau, uh, chicken intestine for our snack here. And so we get the uh, drinks there in 7-Eleven. While we're waiting, if there is, so if, they don't have uh, basketball, I think we're just 
go heading back home but um, James was editing the video there right now so it's time for him to relax and uh, relax so and uh, focus to editing while we are here I <laughs>